Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to my video about arm friendly strings. I've had some elbow and wrist pain lately. It's the first time I ever have pain in my elbow as a tennis player and I really wanted to talk a bit about using softer string setups and trying to avoid injury at all costs because when you're injured partly you have pain of course but the suffering will mainly be that you can't play tennis and that really sucks. So let's try to avoid that and play as much tennis as we can and a few ways to avoid that is obviously to use a softer racket a more flexible racket with a lower stiffness rating uh, there's also pro canics rackets that have a special technology that's arm friendly there's also other companies that offer arm friendly tech and arm friendly setups but please keep that in mind when you're looking for a racket if you have sensitivity in your arm or maybe that your technique is not the best and you tend to arm the ball sometimes or you miss hit from time to time it's better to save your body and make sure you have a really arm friendly setup so you can keep playing keep improving today i wanted to talk a bit about hybrid setups i've been playing around with various different hybrids so what is a hybrid hybrid is a combination of two strings the most common one is to have a softer string and a polyester string so what i mean with a softer string is a multi-filament string or a synthetic gut string or a natural gut string those three string types are softer on the arm they give more power better comfort perhaps a bit better feel as well while a polyester string will give you more control and more durability and more spin especially if it is a shaped pole it's definitely a lot easier to hit big racket head speed and a lot of spin and get the ball to dip in with a poly string when you use a hybrid setup you have a bit of mix of both worlds if you have huge arm concerns and issues with your arm and you really want to make sure you never get tennis elbow etc you should definitely play with a multi-filament or a synthetic gut or if you have the money for it a natural gut string you can do that in a full bed so the entire string bed is that string or you can try it in hybrids but for the maximum arm comfort I would go with a arm friendly setup such as a multi-filament or a synthetic gut what I'm doing right now because I really enjoy also the control and durability that a poly string gives me so what I'm doing is like many many pros such as Andy Murray, Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer, for example, uh, and many, many others as well. I'm using a hybrid setup, and in my setup right now, I have a soft synthetic gut string in the mains of my two test rackets at around 26 kilos. I tend to go up in tension with these softer strings because they do lack that kind of control that a poly has. If you're using a full bed of poly, I would really recommend you to string it as slow as you feel comfortable with and really get used to that because you're going to get more comfort you're going to get better pocketing with lower tensions on a poly string but for a multi-filament or a synthetic gut like i'm using now and i'm putting them in the mains so the mains of the racket will give the racket its flavor when you use a hybrid so the more flavor will come from the mains and some flavor will come from the crosses so uh, that's how a hybrid works and if you want a softer, more powerful string setup, you would use the softer string in the mains. If you want to soften up a control-oriented setup, you can use the softer string in the crosses. So that's your option in a hybrid. I like a softer setup now, so I use the softer string in the mains. And then I add a poly in the crosses. If you want a better durability, I would recommend you to use a round poly. If you use a shaped poly or a rough poly, the risk is that it will saw into the the softer string and that might reduce some lifespan of the string. It's a matter of taste and it's a matter of how often you can restring and how hard you hit and with how much spin you hit. But that's good to keep in mind that the shape of the poly string can saw into the softer string. But right now, one of my favorite setups is this uh, is a Mantis synthetic gut 1.30 gauge in the mains at 26 kilos. And then I use Lux Lanola Power Rough in the crosses at around 24 kilos and i think i get really nice pocketing the control is still there it's not a spin monster but it's not like i'm losing a lot of spin because i have the shaped poly in the crosses and i really like this setup it feels better on my arm and in a soft racket it's just 
it's a really nice feeling. So that kind of setup I can really recommend if you have any arm concerns or if you just want to see how it feels with the hybrid setup such as the many pros use and um, the pros of course they have deeper wallets so a lot of pros use natural gut. Red natural gut uh, is a great feeling string it's it's you haven't they haven't really been able to imitate natural gut yet with a synthetic gut or a multifilament so natural gut has this specific feeling that it's hard to to get from a non-intestine string but it's expensive it's a little bit sensitive to weather humidity etc and um, it costs a premium so if you don't want to pay that premium I think you're absolutely fine to play with a synthetic gut or a multifilament instead of a natural gut. Actually that's what I do, can't afford to keep buying sets of natural gut all the time so I, I string it with a synthetic or a multifilament in the mains and then I do the pole in the crosses. Sometimes I do the other way around and that works really well as, as well. Uh, it's just a matter of taste. It depends a little bit on the racket, of course, and how much power you have. If the racket is low powered, it's um, probably better to put the um, softer string in the mains. If it's a pretty powerful racket, I would put, this, put the softer string in the crosses so the poly takes over a little bit and adds uh, more flavor to the racket. But trying hybrid setups is really a great idea and I can really recommend it. In general, like if you have tennis elbow or other problems and you want to make sure you're playing with arm friendly setup, there are a lot of different options for arm friendly strings. One of my favorite right now and uh, a couple of my friends also like this string, it's called Head Velocity MLT. It's a multifilament string that gives you still some good control and you can use it in a full bed and the feeling is very comfortable uh, it's quite powerful but the control and durability is pretty good with this string so that's one of my highest ranked multi-filament strings right now and the price point is also very good so I can really recommend that string as you can see in this video I'm playing with two really nice rackets two of my favorite rackets of recent times I'm playing with the Prince Phantom Pro 93P 1820 string pattern I prefer that over the more open 1418 pattern which I reviewed a while back. I uh, felt that was a bit too lively for my taste and that really ate strings, even poly string setups. This one, it's just beautiful pocketing, really nice control. I feel like I can swing out and not miss with this racket. So it's one of my favorite rackets of recent years. Top notch frame, really a classic at this point already. I've also been using a hybrid setup in the Yonex V-Core Pro 97 HD that I just reviewed. Really wonderful frame. I'm, I'm getting to love this more and more and more. Playing the, the, these rackets side by side, it's very difficult for me to decide which one I like the most. The V-Core Pro 97 HD is a bit easier to use. I have a bigger hitting surface, so I really can get a bit more power for free, a little bit of more spin for free as well. Uh, so this one is definitely easier to use, while the Prince is just faster through the air, just knives through the air, it's a bit better on serve for me, and I can really swing out with it, and it just has that pinpoint control. These are two rackets that I can just keep in my bag because these two rackets play really well alongside each other. They're both 1820. The Prince has a bit lower launch angle than the Yonex of course due to the head size mainly but um, play really nice and plush around low 60s stiffness rating and just love them both and really enjoy them right now and especially with the hybrid setup it's just a dream to play with so i can really recommend you trying out hybrid setups you have so many different legends in tennis using hybrid setups and that's for a reason you don't need to use it with natural gut unless you have the wallet and interest to do so you can use it with a synthetic gut or a multi-filament string and it's gonna play great so um two thumbs up for hybrid setups two thumbs up for these rackets that I'm using right now, the Prince Phantom Pro 93P 1820 and the Yonex V-Core Pro 97 HD. I'm gonna keep experimenting a bit more with different hybrids and uh, testing a few of the different sets I have in my office. Thanks for watching this Tennis Nerd video. Uh, as always, I'm, I'm happy if you share it with your tennis friends and if you click like and you subscribe to our various channels such as this YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and if you consider also becoming a patron at patreon.com slash tennis nerd where you can get exclusive content every week for only two bucks. Also consider checking out our new web shop where you can buy strings, 
rackets and shoes at good prices. I really appreciate it. If you buy a lot of stuff, I'll send you a t-shirt, of course, as well. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day and that you get to play some tennis. And if you get the chance, try a hybrid string setup. It's a really nice feel and performance.